Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. Stay hooked, buddy. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Oh, wow, guys. Wow, that's a good one. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Oh, stay pinned. What's up, guys? It's River Rat Productions, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some older footage of before I got my field free kayak. Um, I'm in my old kayak, and I'm going down the French Broad in this video, and I have a couple other videos like that that I'll be releasing over the next few weeks, too. And yeah, if you haven't already though, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. We're so close to 1K. I know we could do it pretty soon. I don't know if we'll be able to do it by the end of the year, but we'll just have to see. I'm gonna stay optimistic because there's still two months left this year. And I can't wait to show you videos of me and my feel free kayak. Um, I'm working on just trying it out more and I'll be doing a review on it too, so make sure you smash that subscribe button if you want to see that. And also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. I've been posting more reels on there, and we're pretty close to 1K followers on there. Um, so if you haven't followed me, follow me on there. I do updates about the channel. But anyways, guys, let's get into today's video. It's a good one. See you in a second. Hey right, guys. We're on the French Broad River today. Um, I'm going to be trying to target some of these smallmouth again. Uh, it's going to be a little noisy too. Uh, looks like there's quite a few tubers out, unfortunately. Um, a lot of them are in some of my fishing spots that's going to fish, so that's uh, unfortunate. But we should be getting out hopefully pretty soon. But let's see if we can lay into them. Well, guys, we haven't had too much luck so far. We hooked into a few, but nothing crazy. We had a lot of tubers around us, so that kind of sucked. Um, definitely felt like I could have done better in that section, but I wanted to get away from them. And yeah, it is what it is though. I just hope we can get at least a few today. We had a late start because I got stuck in traffic for over an hour. So that was, that was great. I was only like six miles away. So it is what it is though. Um, we're going to make the best of it. And hopefully we're going to get us some pretty good smallies today. It's a goal. Because fall transition has fully kicked in. And honestly, they are hungry. Uh, we went out on Fontana, me and Christian did. Um, I don't know, a couple days ago. And the boat prop fell off in the middle of Fontana. So that's great. Um, so I'm having to look for a new prop. And I don't know if I'm going to get it by the end of the season or what. Um, I hope we can find one sooner than that because that's a lot of the content I was gonna have for you guys over uh, the winter and stuff. I was gonna kind of record over the next couple weeks. Um, so now I'm just kind of limited to floats. And I could go to like electric only lakes, but a lot of the lakes I was wanting to fish for you guys um, was the bigger lakes around here like Fontana, Douglas, Cherokee Lake, James, pretty much anyone like that. but. Can't do it anymore until we get a prop. So hopefully I can find one pretty soon, but for now, I'm just gonna concentrate on the river float. Oh, we got one guys. Stay on, buddy. Stay on. That's a decent one. Woo, there we go, guys. Oh. Here's this nice little football. That's a really good smallie, honestly. I was just kind of reeling it in and he kind of hit it whenever I dropped it as I was reeling it in and first one of the day I missed quite a few um looks like he's been caught before but still that is a nice small mouth I'd say it's a little shy of two maybe close to two I'm not really too sure I'm not gonna weigh him but good fish regardless so we're gonna get a picture of him and send him on his way Well guys, that was a pretty good smallmouth. Uh, that's a good way to start it off. That's the biggest I've hooked into all day. Um, so yeah, that was a pretty good one. He hit it while I was swimming it, which means, leads me to believe that I might need to try uh, 
a jerk bait it might not be a bad idea i got one tied on right now uh but for now i think i'm gonna still try out this ned rig hopefully see if i can land at least one more on it i just want to make sure i get a video for you guys and then i'll start trying to do that i definitely think we can get into some more so the clouds are kind of moving in so they should be pretty hungry right now from what i have gathered we're just gonna keep flipping it up in the shades pocket and hopefully we'll be able to pull a few more out if i can actually get a good cast up in there so hasn't been too crazy action today um seen quite a lot of fish blowing up on the surface uh mainly just back there in this one spot i was fishing um I don't even know if it was really a smallmouth. I think it was, but honestly, I could be wrong. So, who knows? But hopefully, we'll get a few more, or at least one more. That'd be cool. Not smack into a tree. Yeah, I feel like we could definitely catch a few more, though. Um, fishing's been pretty nice. They're definitely in that fall transition, and they're definitely feeding up it's like the bite window hasn't really like shut off the whole time so they are feeding up right now and yeah i got some shag colors cut on i got some more natural colors like this finesse trd i'm trying and hopefully figure out where they're at i've been fishing up near like shade and under these trees i've kind of been flip-flopping on the sides depending on which one has more shade and which one doesn't and I'm also looking for like timber in the water too. That's another good place where I've had pretty good luck with. That was a pretty big leaf right there if I do say so myself. But yeah, I definitely feel like we could probably land into a few more. We just gotta figure out exactly what they're feeding on and the cadence. Because I've been fishing the Ned Rig pretty slow uh, through here, except if I make an awful cast then I kind of switch it up and I uh, reel it in real quick and toss it somewhere where I think it would get bit. And the only time I really speed through the reel is uh, whenever I know there's going to be no fish there. There we go, guys. Oh, no. We got smoked twice in a row, guys. Oh, does it have it again? Yep, there we go. Ooh, perfect. All right, guys, here's a pretty little smallie. Uh, I think he hit it three times in a row, or it might have been three different ones. I'm not really too sure. I kind of want to go back up to it and try it. Um, yeah, he just smoked it. And yeah, only <laughs> three times in a row, so. It leads me to believe there might be some more stacked up there, so we're gonna get this guy back in the water and send him on his way. All right, guys, we gotta try casting up in there again. Especially with how many times I got bit. Yeah, we gotta try that again. Curious if it was the same one. Oh, there we go. One feels pretty decent. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I knew there was another one in there. All right, guys. There's number three. I guess they're stacked up right there. I'm going to get it back up in there because I hooked into a few of them whenever I was casting right there. So that is a pretty little fish. We're going to try to hopefully get a good release on him too with the underwater footage. Not sure how well that's going to go, but we'll try. I've been trying for all the fish we caught. So looks like he had something happen right here, but still a pretty little fish. Uh, probably about 12 13 inches pretty good little guy so we're gonna get him back in the water and send him on his way so i was just kind of casting right here in front of me about 10 ish yards not even and i have my foot on this log right here and i am just waiting a second so i can cool him down because i don't want to spook him too much but right about there is where they've been hitting so Hopefully we can get us another one out of there. That'd be cool. Oh, we already got bit again. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that is crazy. It's like six back-to-back -back casts. And they take it pretty quick. Oh, yep, there's another one. Oh, maybe not. Something like bit it for a second, but then let go pretty quick. Uh, so there's a little bit of grass there. That's why they're schooled up there. Makes sense. Grass produces a lot of oxygen. And that makes sense why they're sitting up there. There's a lot of wood. It's kind of shaded off. Oh, just missed another. They are like right up on this bank. Really kind of want to try my dark sleeper, but I feel like it might spook them. Whenever I'm about to leave, I'll probably try it. But wow, there's so many here. I just gotta let them take it for a second. Oh. There we go. Stay hooked, buddy. Oh, I came off. <laughs> wow. This is crazy, guys. I don't even know why the fishing's this good right here, but it is. Oh, are you getting me bait again? Oh, wow. Okay, I need to tighten my drag, maybe? Oh, let's see. Oh wow, my worm is getting up. Oh, just got bit again. I'm waiting on one to fully take it. I hooked that last one pretty weird too. I hooked him like right in the bottom of the mouth, which is very strange for the Ned Rig. Just shows how much they want it. All right guys, uh, sorry for the wind blowing into the camera. It's just such a good spot, I gotta try it again. I even took a hook to the finger that tells you how determined I am to catch another one out of here. I know they're stacked. I know there's also a lot of snags too. And I'm pretty sure I just got the same one. I think we could pull another one out of here if I don't keep getting snagged and spooking the fish out of here. This might not be a bad spot. I might be able to actually catch my limit uh, for like the second time? I think it's second. I think I've only caught my limit like once on this river. Something's playing with it. I think something did it. That was just a leaf. Well, guys, unfortunately, can't get any more bites out of there. I felt like there were some pretty decent ones there, too. So, at least we kind of know what we're looking for. And hopefully, we can do a pretty decent today. I feel like, well, we've caught three so far. So, if I catch two more, I'll be very happy. If we catch two more, I'll be extremely happy. That was my goal for the video, was three. But now, since we've caught three, five will do pretty good too i definitely think we can get five so especially if they're biting like this i would have already had five with all the ones i missed i would have had like seven or eight i think honestly i kind of lost count so i'm not really too sure but i do know i have three and i definitely feel like we can get into a few more so it is that wasn't even a spot I was really going to fish. It's just where the current kind of pulls it in. And there's like a, a log that's like right there. That kind of blocks up the, the river a little bit and creates this slow pool. And that's where they've been. So, so took a little break for a second. Uh, just trying to figure out about how much I had left. Because I'm trying to see if I can find at least a few more smallmouth. That would be awesome. I've never been able to catch my limit. I've caught four a whole bunch of times, but I've never been able to catch my limit at all, but I think like once, maybe twice. I think it's only once though. So, be awesome. Uh, that's counting just me, by the way. That's not counting uh, the times whenever like me and Christian have came, or me and Luke, or me and Lucas. It's mainly just counting me, so. We're gonna try this little bank over here. This looks pretty good. This is kind of like the area that we caught all those schooling up. So let's try that. Now I just looked, the water temperature is at 68 right now and it just peaked. And it's starting to drop. Uh, Cause the sun has started to get a little bit lower. But yeah, we're just gonna get right over here. Kind of see what happens. All right guys, so 
I haven't really had too many more bites after finding that one little hole. Um, uh, it's, we have about an hour, hour and a half left to fish. Uh, we got a few more miles left, but hopefully should be able to get on them pretty good. Um, the dead rig's been pretty good. I've been working it pretty slow and that's how I've been catching all these fish. I'm looking at like shallowish, deepish type of water. Uh, I was looking for shade earlier, but now I'm not really looking for shade as much because the sun's pretty much set in some spots. Um, it should be set here probably in, within the next hour or so. So hopefully this should be whenever they're heated up. Um, I'm not too sure though, maybe earlier was whenever they were heated up, which would be completely okay. But I definitely feel like we can at least get one more. Two more would be nice. But we still have had a pretty good day regardless, so I can't really complain. But yeah, hopefully we can at least get two more to get our limit, and I'd be real happy. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. Stay hooked, buddy. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Oh, wow, guys. Wow, that's a good one. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Oh, stay pinned. Stay pinned. He's fighting really good. Sorry guys, I don't really have a good camera angle on him. This is a football right here. Oh wow, that's a good one. Okay, okay. Wow, <laughs> that's such a good smallie. Wow guys, that is such a pretty smallmouth. Holy crap, that's a good one. Wow, I cannot believe that we just caught that one. I kinda wanna get a weight on him. Uh, but I don't think I have my scale, but wow, that's a good one. Looks like he's been caught uh, before, maybe once. But wow, that's such a good fish, guys. Look how pretty that is. I gotta get a picture of him. All right, guys, we're gonna send him on his way. Thanks for playing, buddy. Wow, guys, I I don't even know what to say about that, to be honest with you. That was, that was pretty crazy. I can't believe that. Oh, that was such a good smallie. I don't think I have my scale on me. I keep getting smoked. Holy crap. I think I like fall fishing on the French Broad more. I can't believe I hooked into that one, guys. It just blows my mind. I need one more for a limit. If I can get one more, I would be so happy. But, wow. I, I can live with that. I could definitely live with that. That was, that was crazy. I, wow, I'm speechless, guys. That was such a pretty fish, too. I loved his patterns on it, and he was there. I, I knew he was on as soon as he hooked it. He, he pretty much hooked himself, but I was pretty much just letting that drift, and he hit it on the fall. I saw my line move, and I just set the hook, and the rest is history, guys. Uh, sorry you didn't really have a good angle on that fight. There wasn't really anything I could do there. I was trying to get the line around my rods, and it was just, there's a lot going on. <laughs> I did not want to lose that fish. Because I saw the flash on him, and I was like, oh, that's a good one. But I don't know how much that guy weighed. I, I'd say probably like two and a half, two, something like that. Maybe a little more, but a little bit less. Not really too sure. But that was absolutely insane, guys. It really makes me want to fish this part. I never really fish this part that much anyways. Whenever I do this uh, float right here, I always kind of skip it. But now I probably will not skip it as much. So, especially with a big lunker like that coming up to play. Oh, there we go, guys. Oh, that feels like a good one. Oh, it's so good, buddy. Oh, it's good. There's number five for the day, guys. There we go, guys. Fifth smallie of the day. Second time ever 
catching my limit. Good fish though. Uh, it's probably about 12-ish, but got some on its way and hopefully get a bigger one. Thanks, buddy. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to start paddling back. It's getting pretty dark, and there's another guy camping there. And I decided to do a few casts. And I don't really want to spoil his fun for the night, so I'm gonna take that as a win, especially getting my limit. Wow, and two species. Felt like he was fighting pretty good, but it's okay. That was that was awesome. I finally caught my limit on here for the second time. I feel like all I could do is get to four, but wow awesome i'm so glad about that you guys can maybe see all the bats flying around but i think that's my cue to my cue to leave uh that was <laughs> that was so cool so happy about that but i'll see you guys back here at the house well guys as you can tell i had a pretty good day on the french broad um i'll definitely be going back trust me there's a lot of other videos i got recorded and they were all really good so if you liked today's video and you haven't subscribed and you made it this far, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it, especially since we're on the way to 1K, like I mentioned in the beginning. But if you haven't also, follow me on Instagram. I post updates there. I'm wanting to get more active with uh, my community tab on YouTube, so I will be making polls. So make sure that you respond to my polls and it'll be questions about like what you want to see on the channel just stuff you guys want to know or you could just send me a message on instagram if there's anything you want me to do but anyways guys i'll see you guys next time have a good one